I'm going to have to read the lyrics to the songs that I hear for the first time. Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we're going to be talking about something that caught my ears recently. <laughs> See what I did there? Or rather, hear what I did there? There are plenty of songs with questionable lyrics. But I wanted to share my thoughts on three that I had been jamming out to way too long before I even read the lyrics. I only knew the words. I didn't know what the words meant. I mean, there aren't many people out here googling what songs mean. Well, except for my partner. He always has interesting song facts to tell me. Chapter 1. Keeping it fun in the summertime. Released in 1970. In the Summertime is a debut single by Mungo Jerry, a British rock band. This song was everywhere. It topped charts all over the world and sold a whopping 30 million copies. In the UK alone, it stayed as number one for seven weeks. It held a top spot in Canada for two weeks and climbed to number three in the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. Talk about a hit. On YouTube, the song also has 151 million views. When talking about questionable lyrics, a lot of people like to bring up the line, have a drink, have a drive. But I did some research. According to the singer and songwriter Ray Dorsett, he wasn't talking about alcohol. Rather, he meant a Coke, a coffee, or a milkshake. He claims that this was before have a drink meant have some alcohol. He doesn't want listeners to drink and drive. And honestly, that's not the line I want to discuss today anyway. If her daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If her daddy's poor, do what you feel. What do you mean by that? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Some dude on Genius Lyrics says it means if the daddy's rich, you have to impress him, and that the woman will have higher standards. But if her daddy's poor, she's not going to care about a fancy meal. In fact, you could just take her right to, you know, where you want to take her. <laughs> Honestly, his explanation doesn't really make it any better. It just makes me cringe and side-eye the song just a little bit. Something about that line just doesn't sit right with me. But the next song we're going to be talking about is even more surprising. I've heard it played at weddings, parties, and just sung out by happy, cheery people that don't really understand the words of the songs and that they're singing about an affair. Chapter 2. Lips of an Angel, Acts of the Devil. Lips of an Angel is a song by Hinder, written and produced by Brian Howes and Joseph Lombardo. It was released in 2006. It was a huge hit, reaching number one in Australia and New Zealand, and peaking at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. The remastered version on YouTube has 338 million views, and I'll admit, I'm probably responsible for a couple thousands of them. Listen, back in the day, we didn't have Spotify. You looked up songs on YouTube. According to songfacts.com, Cody Hansen and Austin Wrinkler wrote the song after Wrinkler shared his troubles of letting go of an ex-girlfriend. One of the lines that always gets me is, My girl's in the next room. Sometimes I wish she was you. At least he doesn't always wish his girlfriend was his ex, right? <laughs> Sometimes he wishes. <laughs> in the song, he talks about whether his ex-partner knows that she's on the phone with him and if it's going to cause them troubles. And then he continues saying that his girl doesn't know either. As their secret conversation continues, he tells his ex that she makes it hard to be faithful with the lips of an angel. Someone on Genius Lyrics suggests that the final Honey, why you calling me? so late is meant as a you're too late for us to rekindle i've moved on but i'm not really sure if that's hinder's intention it sounds more like he's torn between his current girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend major red flag right well he might have strong feelings for his ex whom he wrote the song about but the next song is a little bit more suspicious chapter three this whole song was the wrong way. In 1997, Wrong Way was released by Sublime. Not nearly as popular as the other songs, but still more popular than any songs that I've written. It was number 47 on the Billboard Hot 100. 
and then stayed in the top 100 for 26 weeks, peaking at number 3. Annie's 12 years old and two more she'll be a whore. Nobody ever told her it's the wrong way. So this line, we know that Annie was a prostitute at 14. And in the song, Sublime tells us that her drunk dad put her on the streets to make the family money. Obviously, the time between Annie turning 14 and meeting the protagonist in the song could be days, months, years, but it's very vague. And the lack of specification kind of makes me feel like she's still young. He talks about how she shouldn't be afraid how much money she'll make as a 14-year-old prostitute. And then he goes on to explain that she's explaining her trauma, and all he can do is stare at her tits, because he's just a man. A cigarette pressed between her lips, but I'm staring at her tits, it's the wrong way. This guy is clearly not winning any awards for sensitivity. That's for sure. He talks about helping her take out her dad and making everything right for her while they talk all night. Then he calls her tight, which is the wrong way. He takes her to America, gives her all he has to give, but she wouldn't take it and she runs away. Some random person on Reddit wrote a comment saying that the writer wrote this song when he was 16 years old and it's actually about a, another friend who was a 16 year old female prostitute. Now. I looked this up and I could not find anything. And unfortunately on Reddit, if you ask people for sources, they get angry. You cannot say, what's your source? Because they'll be like, just Google it. Well, I did, sir. I Googled it and I found nothing about that. But maybe I missed something. I'm not a professional researcher. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just making video essays. Now, I'm not saying this song isn't an absolute bop because it is. <laughs> It just has me ugh, the first time I was singing along and I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean Annie's a 14 year old prostitute? But what do you guys think? Have you ever listened to a song and felt the lyrics were a bit questionable? Let me know those songs in the comments down below. I would love to listen to them and maybe I could do a deep dive into their lyrics. As always, the sources are down below for all of the stuff I found in this video and all of the research esque stuff I've done. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like or dislike, leave a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next video where I'm talking about something else, probably. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye guys!